Hello, my name is Dr. Anupama Tripathi Srikant. I'm a practicing senior consultant anesthesiologist in Bangalore. The subject is very vast because we anesthetize the fetuses inside the uterus, right? From a premature baby to even beyond 108 year old also we have anesthetized. Now each age group is predisposed to its own type of side effects depending on the type of anesthesia also. Type of anesthesia when I say it means from a local regional anesthesia to even general anesthesia. The type of surgery also, whether it's a minor surgery, major surgery, whether it's a planned surgery or an emergency surgery, all these are contributing factors to the plan of anesthesia and the side effects and complications. And the minor side effects often we face are in a general anesthesia, it may be nausea, vomiting, some allergic reactions, sore throats, headache, to some rashes or to some extent urinary retention to the major complications like severe anaphylactic reaction that means a severe allergic reaction which can lead to shock and even arrest of the patient on table. In regional or spinal anesthesia the common problems can be headache, numbness can persist for a little longer time to the extent that you can have sometimes hematoma that is a blood clot into the spinal cord where if the patient has been taking some blood thinning agent or his coagulation is abnormal and by chance if there is a bleeding there and that can form a clot and compress his cords but those are very rare things. Each case is different. We tailor make the anesthesia to the patient type, to the type of surgery and to the condition in which the patient comes. Every anesthetist will try to play safe will subject the patient to the type of safe anesthesia which is permissible. So it's mandatory that we discuss everything with the patient and the anesthetist and the relatives and the surgeons. It's a big teamwork where everyone comes together and things are planned.